space for creatives. Uh, we started here at Sundance in 07, and for 12 years we've created a welcoming landing pad and access point for black filmmakers, Latino filmmakers, Asian American filmmakers, LGBTQ filmmakers, all those of difference are uh, really under the umbrella of Black House to access this world of independent film at its highest level. Hundreds of thousands of people from around the world were protesting against his execution. And included in that group were a handful of retired wardens and directors of corrections. And they wrote a letter to the governor uh, urging him to grant Troy clemency, not just on the grounds of potential innocence, but they spoke to the emotional and psychological consequences that killing Troy would have on the prison staff that were sanctioned to do so. Hearing them, listening to them, watching them, feeling them, all I had to do was be a good witness and have facility. And then one time she just said, Wendell, you know the thing that makes me so, so frustrating with men is that you just don't want to do the work. <laughs> Remember that day? <laughs> you get to a certain age where you just don't want to do the work. <laughs> when are you going to do the work? <laughs> and then we went to work. <laughs> Whenever I take on something, I attempt to master it. I'm never just stepping in to dabble. Right. And I think a lot of people, for various reasons, sometimes it's their own fear. You know, sometimes it's like the insecurity of like, well, if I don't really commit to it, then if I fail, it doesn't feel like I really failed because I ain't never really commit to it either. Yep. That happens in relationships as well. Amen. But you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> but I'm fine. You know, with Facebook's help, uh, we were able to get... Um, you know, I was able to get a, a nice advance that, you know, paid for the cost of what we spent for the movie. So. That's great. We are here to give you an extended sneak peek of American Soul. Yeah. It's our 10 episode drama series inspired by the iconic Soul Train. And throughout all of our work, we wanted to center black joy. And black joy is not the absence of pain but it is the presence of aspiration. We've done many things here at Black House over the years, and I would say you can kind of mark time at Sundance. There's before Black House, and there's after Black House. The reason Unanimous Media, myself, Stephen Curry, our company is a part of this film is we've all agreed to donate all the pro profits and the proceeds back to the families. That's amazing. But really, it's about putting your team together. Who are you working with and who are you enjoying working with? Because if you're not enjoying the, the work, it's too hard. <laughs> it's too hard. The producer is, is blue collar. You know, you don't get, you come to Sundance, you know, you don't, you, you know, you don't get all of the claim that the writer, director get. And you're responsible for everything. You have to make sure that at the entry level in every single department, there is someone who is getting an opportunity to break in. For women 25, 54, all women 25 and 54, the top 16 rankings of, of scripted series, we hold four of the 16. That's unbelievable. Our stories need to be told, we need to be represented, we need, we matter, we should be seen. Our stories have been here forever and just because they're not being told does not mean um, that they don't exist. Take my hand, precious Lord. We're gonna transform this place right now into Black House Baptist, so if you go with me. Going on up, going on up 
So I think our presence at, at Sundance in 2019 is critically important because there is a, a, a next mountain to climb. Uh, so, you know, it's not ever ground that you uh, cannot worry about losing in terms of the proliferation of black content. But I think for us, it's about making sure that the next generation and the next generation comes forward and takes those opportunities. And then that we transform the opportunity not just from being greenlit and giving the money, but also having the power to do the green lighting. Uh, so the next frontier really is a proliferation of content and content creators, and then a proliferation of owners and decision makers in the industry.